Hey everybody, I'm out with my brother Larry, <laughs> out by his house, and we're uh, we're gonna go try and kill a partridge. Right on. Because time here. partridge in a pear tree doesn't uh, get any tastier. The chicken, we call them the nature's chicken around here because they taste so good. Yeah. What's the limit, Larry, on partridge? Uh, five. Five each. Five each per day, and I'm gonna say we'll be lucky if we catch one. So or shoot one. All so, white meat. Breast yep. is all white meat. Totally organic. So we're just scanning the bush as we drive along. This is all crown land up here, so in a boat, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the trail. What's up, guys? Larry's practicing his axe throwing. Ooh. A little high. That right in the back of the neck. <laughs> oh, he's coming at me. Oh, he's coming at you? That was the forehead. Yeah, that was the forehead. <laughs> We're going for between the eyes. Ooh. Oh, we're getting there. Ooh, he's down. He's down, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's down. He's got a serious headache. He's, you're laying the boots to him now <laughs> <laughs> with an axe in his neck, <laughs> shoulder. Leave her there. Nice shooting. Nice. Here's this new line of defense once you got the axe in your head. Boom. He's down. Be very, very. Quiet, we are hunting wabbits. <laughs> oh, I know, that was stupid. But uh, yeah, so had to get the orange uh, safety gear on here. Larry and I are going to take a walk in. My nephew has a trapping cabin in the bush here I've never been to. So Larry's going to take me in, show me the uh, show me his cabin. Maybe we'll break in, have our lunch there or something. And uh, yeah, we'll see what Leave happens. Leave him a nasty note. Leave him a nasty note, yeah. Guess who? We'll, we'll take a selfie and... Uh, and leave it there for him. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm going to switch. I got the GoPro on my head here because I'm going to be carrying a gun. And uh, so hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with the GoPro from here on. And then when we stop, we'll check in with the other camera. And uh, we'll see if we get lucky or not out here. Yeah. So we're working our way in the trail. Scotty's forewarning everybody. There may be traps that on this trail. Or snares. So watch your dogs. Ample warning. This is a trap lane. So this is the kind of stuff here, guys, that the partridge will hide under these logs. They like to get up on top of the logs. They can see around. But they, they do spend a lot of their time on the ground. Sometimes they're in the trees. And uh, a lot of the time they'll lay right down and just let you walk by them. So, a real challenging hunt. Not to mention, they're the same color as all the same color, and Same color as all this stuff right here. They blend right in, boy. Mother Nature knows how to look after stuff. I think it's kind of funny they let you have five a day because... They could make it, for me, they could make it 25 a day. And <laughs> I'm lucky if I get one. <laughs> lucky to see one. There's another thing that goes in cycles. Like my best year was 33. 33, yeah. That's, that's only uh, about eight years ago. Wow. And then there'll be a crash, and then they climb again. I'd say they're, they're on the climb again, but nothing like they were a few years back. The spring conditions uh, really depend, like when they lay their eggs, if it turns wet, their nests get flooded out. That kills a lot of them right there, so a lot of, a lot of variables on it. Yeah, yeah. And then they got raccoons and skunks and everything else that tries to eat the eggs. Because they lay right on the ground, like Larry said.
hunting partridge you see these pines where the pines transition down into the birch and it's very common for the partridge to sit in the middle of these transition areas and they also like the nice sun it's cool today so they'll sit on the side of these slopes Cabin. It's getting bigger every time I see it. <laughs> he had bear problems in here, so you can tell by the metal on the windows. He had to get serious. They were clawing at his cabin. Trying to get <laughs> Pretty good though, eh? Yeah, that'll keep him out. I like his porch, very rustic. Nice bar. Oh, we need to drink. Yeah. We could use the trick we like with the pest control. We know where most people like to hide their key. Hey. Usually it's right in around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we won't reveal or he hides we'll, it. We'll do the editing when we find the key. Uh huh. Oh, nice little cabin locked out though. Oh yeah, locked out. Guy locks his uncle's out. I, was I, I know, I can't believe it, man. Like, This is the pest control technician. Where did they hide that key? Where's the key? Oh, we left the key up on the beam right next oh, to the man. door. Who knows? Oh, keep looking. These new chairs we got, Lenny and I, we're going to show you how fast, how easy they are to set up. You just throw them up in the air. Get them. Three in one. What's that mean? Everything's in there? Everything's in there. Cream, sugar. Oh, I gotta get them. Real popular in Thailand. I finally found them. I'm not sure I got these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you want me, kind. You wanna collect me some wood? Up off. Collect me a bit of wood. I'll let like, you know where I got them. <laughs> like the lure. Like the lure. I can't remember where I bought them. I can't remember where I got that lure. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Scotty. This one's for you, pal. Nice job hiding your key, pal. Hey, man, we looked everywhere. Yeah, so you're doing uh, well. You're doing well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. We'll you see you again. Hey, if you ever want to use our cabin at the Eastern, anytime, man. Yeah, doors open. Your door's wide open. Yeah, you're welcome.
All right. All right. But well, that was us that left a nice little, uh, we had a little fire out in front here with our, with our stoves. So, uh, they, those aren't buck scrapes. Those aren't <laughs> So we sat here. Thanks had for, lunch. Thanks a lot for letting us use your cabin. Great spot. Looks good in here, pal. <laughs> this here's a moose skull. Looks like found it in the bush. Yeah, it'd be killed by a wolf. Oh, really? Yeah. Hopefully you can see that. Look at the teeth on that. Wow. Yeah, that's a good find. Yeah. Don't find them every day. No, that's some someone would probably pay money for that. So hey guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Wasn't uh much of a successful hunt, that's for sure, but uh yeah, as Larry was saying in the video, the cycles go up and down with partridge and, and uh, you know, you just never know when you go out hunting if you're going to see anything or not. So, if this does make it to YouTube, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I like to save the memories. You know, me and my brother, we're getting older and I go to Thailand for six months of the year. And, you know, so we work together for six months, then I don't see him for six months. And uh, we're pretty close because of uh you know because he works for the business and uh so uh yeah it's nice to get out and do something outside of uh of the pest control and uh anyway so hope you guys enjoyed this little video of some canadian wilderness and we'll uh i go to thailand in two weeks so can't wait i just am so excited to go get a proper haircut and massage and eat some real thai food so Thanks again for watching, everybody. See you on the next video.